This brief video will discuss Visual Studio's App Center and New Relic, an observability platform. New Relic's observability platform is an excellent replacement for Microsoft's App Center, and we know App Center is going to be retired on March 31, 2025. So how do we get started with New Relic? To get started with New Relic, go to newrelic.com. Click on Get Started for Free. You'll have full access to all of the capabilities that the New Relic observability platform has for the MAUI programming language. So if we look at the Nugget Package Manager, you can look for the New Relic MAUI plugin. If you prefer to go this route, you can add the package. And then these are some of the things we're going to capture outside of the box. Also, you can click here to the project website and get more in-depth information around configuration support for different platforms. And also ways to add custom data to your MAUI application when sending it to New Relic. So let's get started. How do we add a MAUI application to New Relic? It really is simple. You click here on Integrations and Agents, type in the word MAUI. You will see the .NET MAUI app. As you can see, we also still support Xamarin as well. And then just follow these on-screen prompts. This will give you the code that you need, any license keys, and naming the application. So clicking mobile on the left-hand side and then selecting the application that you're working with will display this screen. And here I can look at the data over, say, the past seven days. And here I can see things like crashes by a version, HTTP failures, network failures, as well as HTTP response time and how many times the apps have been launched, things like basically doing release version tracking, and then also looking at our most frequent exceptions. We'll start with crashes first. So out of the box, New Relic will capture crashes for the MAUI applications. Here you can see if you add user data, it can tell you how many users are impacted and how many occurrences have happened over this time period. Clicking on it, you will see things like what line it was affected on, the stack trace, but also New Relic offers a thing called an event trail that allows you to see the steps the user took to get to this crash. To look at those steps in a larger view, we have a thing called user journeys, which will take all of the journeys for this time period, put them together to show you the typical paths that users would take to get to this crash. Now, this is a very simple crash, so it's not terribly depth. Imagine if you have several interactions, you're working with a lot of HTTP calls, you'd want to see that data before you got to the crash. Next, we will look at HTTP errors. And when I select it, I can see what API call was affected. Here, I could see some of those as they show up on the screen below. I can click on this and I will see a similar screen to the crashes. Here, you could see a more complex user journey for this particular failure, and you can see all the steps here. For handling exceptions, New Relic has two basic ways to capture those. We've attached an error handler in the MAUI environment to capture any errors that were occurring in the MAUI app as handle exceptions. But also we have an API that allows you to create your own handle exceptions so that you can pass that handle exception data to New Relic. Why is that important? Because when you look at handle exceptions, you can see more data as opposed to a log line saying, I had this failure for an HTTP call or I wasn't able to, or had a null point or something like that. Here I have the actual failure with the stack trace, very similar to the crashes. Again, here's another example of the user journey. But now we can start to look at performance of our HTTP requests as they play a key role in most mobile applications. Here you can see those requests and I can see the domains they're running off of. I can get an idea of what the response times are for that. Finally, for this video, the last thing we're going to talk about is logging. So here, New Relic offers the ability to do logging in your application. So if you currently have logging in there, New Relic will capture that logging and service that logging to you.